So we all know that I did my top waves plugins for rap vocals, at least if you're subscribed to me since then. And that video did very well for me, but for whatever reason, I decided to neglect every other uh, plugin company out there. So this video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys my top plugins for mixing rap vocals. Waves included, waves not included. So the first plugin that I have to 1 million percent suggest is the Fab Filter Pro Q2. It's my hands down favorite EQ. It lets you visualize things, which is really nice. It gives you the frequency that's playing back on that particular track. So you could really visualize what uh, frequencies need to be notched out, what needs to be boosted, what needs to be cut out and just so forth. It's a really nice uh, display of the plugin itself. It's essentially the only EQ that I'll ever really consistently use. Every now and then I will bring in other plugins to give sort of a emulated analog sound, but for the most part, the Fab Filter Pro Q2 is the plugin that I'm gonna go to 100%, well, 98% of the time. So number two, I'm gonna have to say that it is the uh, Slate Digital FG Stress. This is their distressor emulation it's a really really good uh emulation for that matter it is especially good for rap vocals in my opinion because the distressor is very well known for having you know a really fast attack you could really compress vocals and uh, make it so that way they cut through essentially any mix and this is essentially a uh, punch for punch as far as what options are available on the uh, computer emulated plug-in version and the hardware unit so it's a really good match to what the actual unit is of course this is part of slate digital's everything bundle so if you're interested in this definitely recommend checking out their site to see what their pricing options are third if you don't want to go the slate digital route there is the cla 1176 or the cla 76 i believe it's called this was in my waves video um, this is another very fast compressor it emulates the uh, UA 1176 and it does a great job doing that uh, you boost everything as far as the attack uh, you can make that very very fast on this and you could really get a pushed out in your face vocal one thing that I do want to point out is if you're using multiple instances of this plugin definitely go ahead and hit analog off on the bottom of the plugin because that white noise will build up and it'll be very 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 annoyingly audible in your records and it took me a little longer than it should have to realize this <laughs> the next plugin that we're going to go into is sound toys micro shift this is a really cool unique plugin because what it does is it messes with the phasing of whatever vocal or whatever um, track you have it on so i like to use this for my ad libs or my doubles or things that aren't the main vocal you could even use it on a reverb to kind of spread out the reverb it's sort of a stereo enhancer in some ways so you could go ahead and uh, widen out certain vocal tracks that are meant to be sort of uh, you know in the background of your main vocal something that you don't want to clash your main vocals mix with so all my ad libs all my uh, doubles my ins and outs they'll generally have the micro shift on it and I'll shift the phase a little bit for, for that. And last but not least, I'm gonna have to say that it is the Isotope Vocal Synth. This plugin is insane. They came out with a second version that I didn't get to try yet, but I'm gonna be doing a video soon enough for it uh, once I get it. And what this plugin allows you to do is it allows you to really be creative with your vocal. It gives it that extra spark that's really gonna grab the listener's attention you could do some crazy effects with this, whether it's just a simple delay, or you could use a uh, like vocoder style uh, synth based effects on your voice, and you could uh, essentially transform your voice to some really, really interesting and unique tones that you could kind of even try to signature for yourself. So that's really cool. I love using this plugin, especially when artists are looking for me to bring a creative flair to their mix. And for that, I'm always gonna pull up the Isotone vocal synth. So that's probably my favorite plugins that I like to use on my rap vocals. 
you'll find my sessions full of these plugins uh, nine times out of a ten they'll have at least one of these plugins actually scratch that probably ten times out of ten they'll have at least one of these plugins but it's a, a great list definitely check them out I'm gonna leave everything below in the description as far as you know um, like the links on Sweetwater or Amazon whatever it may be so you could definitely check it out check out all of the company's websites as well because they're always coming out with new plugins and these are some of my favorite plugin companies as well so without further ado leave it in the comments below make sure you subscribe and I'll talk to you guys soon